Hey, hey guys, this is going to be another tutorial about how to program in C++. Today we're going to be going over loops, specifically while loops though, because yeah, I think I'm going to make another video about for loops because I want to go over in depth how to use while loops and then uh, go over in depth how to use for loops. It'd be just too much to learn in one video, one 10 minute video. Okay, so I've set up a program that uh, we've we've been using throughout all of our videos, asking the user to enter a number and then outputting if or, or and then asking if it's correct, incorrect, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm gonna go over how to do that. I'm also be going to be going over how to um, redo your password protected program to make it uh, using a while loop so that um, the program will keep asking the user for a password. So, um, so it doesn't just ask it for it once, and if they get it wrong, it ends the program, because that's extremely inefficient. You want the uh, user to be able to enter it multiple times, and until they get it right, it uh, keeps popping up this while, this uh, message that we set inside of a while loop. Okay, so let's get started. I uh, started out by setting um, my, uh, my openers up, and then I defined uh, a variable. I just made it an integer just because I wanted to and I set it as A so first what we've done we've asked the user to enter a number and then we've um, we use uh, our input command C in and then the variable so we've done this before very simple now this is where what we're going to be talking about okay so we've used a while loop a while loop is set by um, the command while and then a condition um, I have two conditions in mind just because uh, we, we have two parameters. We want the user to enter a number that's uh, greater than 1 but uh, less than 10. So let's go over what this is. Um, so I have while a, which is their variable, what they've inputted. So while what they've inputted is less than 1, and this just means or right here, it's just a shift and then the key under the backspace, and I've done that twice. That means or. If you don't have if you don't have this, it won't work. So, or you could just have two while loops, but it, it would make sense if it was just in one. It's a lot more efficient, and you can have problems if it's in two while loops. So, um, just just do this; it'll be easier. So, while what they've inputted is less than one, or what they've inputted is greater than ten, because that's our parameters, one through ten. Uh, then we set our uh, error message in a code block. In this case, it's an error message. While loops aren't only used for error messages. It just uh, it makes sense and it makes the program more efficient. Okay, so while these conditions are being met, which are in, in this case incorrect conditions, C out or output no only a number 1 through 10, and then we're ending the line, then this is very important. Always remember to ask your user to try again or to input again. So we have, we I just put this on two separate lines to make it a little more, more neat. I said try again and then I inputted or I ask the user to input A again. Now what is this going to do? It's basically going to go through this and it's going to say, um, okay, so let's say this I user inputted 12. Well, oh, okay, well this while loop condition is now met. The In this case, uh, A is greater than 10. It's going to then give out this message and it's going to, in turn, ask the user to input the, um, the variable or the number or a number again and so if the condition then isn't met so let's say now they actually input 9 then it's going to go down to this code block but if it's not met it's going to go back up to this while loop and do it again uh, it's, it's a lot more efficient because you don't just do it once it will continue on forever and ever um, it's, it's, uh, it works really well with controlling user input and uh, just to, I'm just going to run this and show you how it is. If you guys don't understand quite yet how it works, taking a while to load. My computer is being really slow lately. I don't know why. Okay, so enter a number. Let's say 13. Okay, so no, only a number 1 through 10. Try again. So what it's done, it's gone through this, and we, uh, we've inputted A, and it, uh, the computer stops here. It says, oh, look, this condition has been met. Do the following. So let's uh, try again. Let's now say, let's go really low and say negative 9. Just to show you that you can use positive and negatives. The first one I did uh, greater than 10, and the second one I did less than, less than 1, and um, it works uh, every single time. So I can do all these numbers 
it, it, it'll only uh, work if I do uh, 1 through 10, so let's just do 8, and then I, so it says, okay, now these conditions aren't met, which in this case is a uh, incorrect condition, then do the following, is that below here, since they aren't being met. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to basically screw everything up, and uh, basically just ruin your program. If you don't remember to see in A again, ask them, um, this is what's going to happen. I'll show you. It's going to basically loop through it over and over again because you've asked the user to input it once and then you've never asked them to input it again. So let's try 17. Yeah, that's what happens. It just keeps looping forever and ever. Uh, because what you've done is you've um, you've asked the user to input something, but then you've never like asked them to input it again, and so this condition will always be met, and then it'll just keep going and going and going and going. Uh, so always remember to ask them for the variable again. If you don't, I just showed you, it just keeps looping and looping. Okay, so I'm going to put this source code in the... Um, in the description, now we're going to be going over uh, how to redo your password protected program to make it more efficient. So remember, since password uh, is a string, in our case, because it's letters and numbers, you have to add the include string.h file, and you also have to say using namespace standard, which is uh, represented by std and then a semicolon. So we've set up int main, and then we set a string as pass, uh, just because it's a password. And so we've outputted this program is password protected. Enter the password. Then we've at, uh, have, having the user input a password. And so we're saying while the pass does not equal, which is represented by a uh, exclamation point and an equals mark or equal sign um, keywordy one two three. That's just in our case. Your password doesn't always have to be keywordy one two three. Um, we're having it say that's not the password. The program will not start until you get the password right try again and then we've inputted the we're having the user input the password again so basically um, while they're not inputting the correct password it's going to give an error message so this uh, while this code block uh, is is being met it'll just keep going and going which is a lot more efficient because then you can just put the rest of your program below the while loop which I've set in comments because I was explaining how to do this to someone else but uh, so it's a lot more efficient because you don't have to put it in the else if uh, section where like else if the password is correct then do the program because it's just going to see this and um, be like okay this this isn't right this isn't right this isn't right and keep looping until they get the password as keyword one two three we set it as does not equal just because we want it to loop while it's not correct you don't want it to loop while it is correct you want it to loop when it's not correct so I'm just going to run this really quickly show you how this works Okay, this program is password protected. Enter the program. I'm just going to put one, two, three. That no, that's not the password. The program will not start until you get the password right. Then it's asking us to try again. So I'm going to just put keywordy. Nope, that's not right. It's keywordy, one, two, three, and then press any key to continue. Because um, I didn't have anything down here. Uh, if you have more of a program down here, this is where you'd put it. Like I said, under the while statement. So I'm going to be putting both of these source codes in the description. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully this helped you learn more about while loops.